and welcome to the 11th annual Texas Transportation Forum. I'm Becky Ozuna, and I'm a spokesperson for the Texas Department of Transportation, and I'm also our social media man manager. So I just want to welcome you all and let you guys know there are many seats available still at the front. Uh, so if you're in the back collecting, move on up to the front. There's plenty of room for you. We have a great show for you today. The forum would not be possible without the Texas Transportation Institute. So we do want to thank them for their support and partnership for the forum today. So let's go ahead and give them a warm welcome. And the purpose of the Texas Transportation Forum is to bring together transportation leaders, industry innovators, and local, state, and national policymakers to discuss the state of transportation and beyond. So let's just get things started. Uh, TechStat has some really good friends in Washington, D.C., and one who could not join us today has sent us a video message. Ladies and gentlemen, I do give you Senator John Cornyn. Hi, I'm Texas Senator John Cornyn. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person today, but I want to welcome you to the 11th Annual Texas Transportation Forum. Our state's economic success relies on the products we transport around the state and to the rest of the nation. And with more than 600 people moving to Texas every day, we need an infrastructure that reflects both our economic and demographic growth. That's why, as a member of the conference committee that developed the recently passed highway bill, I work to ensure that the legislation reflects our transportation challenges and priorities. The law designates next generation high priority corridors throughout Texas and encourages innovative solutions to make traveling more efficient and enjoyable. And recognizing the unique issues we face in the border region, this legislation gives Texas flexibility to improve trade and travel throughout our border communities. Most importantly, this law provides Texas and states across the country with a five-year commitment to plan for and invest in high-quality infrastructure. So thank you for letting me say a few words and the best of luck for a productive conference. <laughs> 